I'm going to show you two different ways to get your baby into a back carry with the carrier panel up over their back already. For this first option, you're going to buckle the carrier onto your hip. When I do this, I have it secure on my hip, but there is a little bit of room to slip it to the back. Then you might find this is a little bit easier if you go ahead and loosen those shoulder straps just a little bit. This makes it a little easier for you to grab it as you bring it around the back. Then you will pick up your little one. With a soft structured carrier, most are going to recommend that you wait until about six months or when the baby is sitting unassisted. Then you will lift that panel up over their back. I'm gonna take this and transfer it into the hand on the side that I am going to be moving baby back. If you want to do what they call a power grip, you can put your hand like this so you have a secure hold on both of those straps. Then you're going to shift your little one to the back and tilt forward a bit and grab that other side with your other arm. I'm going to continue shifting him and place in each arm while leaning forward a little bit. Before tightening, I'm going to get that chest clip on while still leaning forward, and then I can go ahead and stand up and tighten everything down. Often when you put a baby or a toddler into the carrier panel first and that waistband isn't fully tightened, it can cause them to sit down onto the waistband a bit more. I just got him off of that and then centered it all. Now I can go through and adjust anywhere that I need in case it needed tightened a little bit more. You want them to be well supported, and typically when back wearing with a soft structure carrier, you want it on your hips. So I'm gonna have that waistband right on my hip bones. Now, something else that I do is consider my pelvic floor. If you have that waistband pushing down on your pelvic floor, it could cause some issues. It sounds silly, but I sort of just tuck my stomach up and I notice that helps a lot. And this is actually something that my pelvic floor therapist had me do. I've noticed that this really does make a big impact but if you feel uncomfortable with tucking your stomach up that way, you could just try and get that waistband a little bit lower on your hips or a little less tight in that area. But you also can buy tummy pads. I have a few and they can be really comfortable and they keep that webbing from cutting into your stomach. To get down, you can loosen the chest clip and chest straps and then you're going to sort of reverse putting one arm down and one arm up and then shifting that carrier over. When I do this, I am holding the shoulder strap closest to the front very securely, and then I'm leaning forward and to the side. A second option to get them on your back is from a front carry. So you'll go ahead and loosen those shoulder straps. On the side that you're going to be switching them over, you're gonna take that arm up, and the opposite side arm is going to go down. Then you will begin to shift your little one to your back. You'll want to securely hold that shoulder strap and then you'll shift them to the back. Once they are far enough back, you will bring that arm up over their head and then you can typically put on the shoulder straps. You'll wanna make sure that you are leaning forward for all of this so that their weight is on your back. Then you'll go ahead and tighten down as needed and then you can stand up once they are more supported by the carrier. And then you would be able to do all of the same things with the waistband, ensuring that it is in a good position and that it isn't pushing down on your pelvic floor. Again, those are things that you may or may not want to do. When back wearing, I like to check in with my little ones. And here is one more option to get out of a back carry. You're gonna put one hand on your child on back over the panel, and then you're gonna unclip your chest clip and then pull, and then pull that panel down. You always want to have one hand on your little one. Then you can go ahead and start to shift them over to one side and you'll use your arm to grab them and pull them all the way up to the front and you're all done.